Hello, Jim Dine artists. So today what we're going to do is we're gonna paint in our background. Get excited, here we go. You can use as many colors as you would like. I'm gonna use every color in the rainbow, literally. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. I am not gonna use brown and black because you might not know this about watercolors, but using brown and black when you don't have to actually make your picture look really dirty. Who knew? Let's activate the paints. So whatever colors you want, put some scoops of clean water in those ovals. That helps to activate the color and get it started. Let's do that together now. Make sure you get enough water in there so it's real nice and wet. You're gonna be using the water that's in the oval, not the actual paint, remember. You don't wanna dig down into the hard paint that's in the oval. You're gonna barely just touch it. Okay, so here's how we begin. Our paint is absorbing the water right now. It's doing its job. We need to prepare our painting surface. So depending on what colors you wanna use, it's totally up to you. You want to make your paper wet first. So get your brush nice and wet with clean water and start putting clean water on your picture. You wanna paint right on top of all the oil pastel. This is on purpose. Is it hard for you to see where the water is? If it's hard for you to see, then adjust how you are looking at your picture. Move your head and then you can see where it is shiny on your paper. That tells you where the water is, of course. Okay. I have made a lot of my picture wet, the top half of it. So I'm going to begin. I'm gonna start with red. I'm just barely touching it with my brush, little taps. And I'm gonna go right onto the picture and then add water. Don't add more paint. Add water and spread it around. You might just wanna watch this first before you paint too much. And then you'll see what to do and know how to do it. So the next color I'm gonna add is orange because I'm gonna go in rainbow color like the color wheel. So I do my orange next and then I add water to help that paint spread around. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna add some yellow. Now my yellow and orange look very similar. Do they look very similar to you? And maybe yours are gonna look a little more similar too. So here's some options of what you can do if you don't want them to look too much alike. Go back and get some more of the orange or add a little red to your orange. Look what happens. Makes it a little bit more orange because the yellow that's in that orange really helps the red make it turn into the color you want, orange. All right, let's keep going. My next color is going to be green. So I keep adding water first, just so my paint has a chance to move around. If you don't add water to your picture first, the paint gets soaked into the paper like the paper was a sponge. And then your paint never has a chance to move around. We wanna give it a chance. Okay, here comes some green. And I'm just absorbing the water that's in the oval into my brush. You see, I'm not like scrubbing the oval to get paint out at all. I do blend a little of that green up into my yellow, just so it has a chance to mix. That's kind of fun. Now I'm gonna add some blue. And it's fine if some of my green comes over where my blue is gonna be. Blue's very strong. So blue is definitely going to dominate this area right here. Isn't it fun to see what happens when you paint on top of the oil pastel? 
That is called wax resist. Wax resist means that the oil pastel resists being covered up by paint. That's what that means in this project. And now we're gonna add the last color. Gotta pick up some of that purple water from my oval. Let it absorb into my brush like a sponge. And then I move it around on my wet paper. It gets a little bit in the red. It gets a little bit in the blue so I can blend a little in there. Have some fun. Okay, I'm not done. There's still more. Now that I've covered my whole picture with paint, I can take little dots of color and just add little dots of color, just like Jim Dine would do, having fun with my paint. I don't have to do this with every color. I just do it with the ones I want to do it with. I could put it on the heart or around the hearts, wherever I want. But if you do this while your paint is wet, it will spread around a lot better. So much fun, isn't it fun? It's neat to see what your paint can do when it is wet. Okay. And let's do a little bit more over here in this purple. Spread it up here into the red. What should we do on green? We'll do a little blue on the green. There we go. Okay, I hope you had fun decorating your picture. I know I had a great time painting. I'll see you next time.